Hello and welcome! This is Gremlins, and this is part 11 of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I know I didn't appear exactly here at the end of the last video, but I don't care. We're back over here at the turtle. We're gonna be finishing up what we can of Bubble Gloop Swamp. I'll explain in just a second. Right after our, I, uh, I meant to get hit by that thing. Recycling honeycombs or something. Uh, you can get in now. Come on. Any day now. There we go. Okay, so there was five of those golden crocs. Croc tie. Croc tisses. Croc content. Croc miss. What? Never mind. Um, so yeah, now that we've picked up that jiggy, there's not much left we can do for now. We actually could get all the jiggies if we really wanted to, like, if we were really motivated. But at the moment, there's one particular dude in particular. Redundant. Particular. I want to get up there. Anyway, there- oh! For fuck's sake. There's one guy I do not want to deal with right now, and that name is Mr. Vile. Mr. Vile was in that crocodile mask thing. What the fuck is going on with the physics here? Anyway, he was in the- Oh, you better not. There we go. Must be a way up there. Aha! Uh -huh. I want that Jinjo. That Jinjo is my friend. You're going to be the bestest of buddies. Anyway, Mr. Vile is kind of a pain to deal with, and I don't want to deal with him for now. So, for now, we're making this guy's feet warm by crushing it with our beaks. Don't ask me how that makes sense. Or how he suddenly coughs up a jiggy. Yeah, that's tanked up. Sounds kind of like Tip Top from Diddy Kong Racing. And for some reason he leaves his mouth open. Uh, and we have to go in there, yeah. I don't get it either. I don't know where his organs are, I don't want to know. Maybe they're in the rafters, like maybe what I can't see is, you know, entrails on the ceiling. Oh, there's Tip Top! That's good old tip top. Oh yeah, this choir? Hate this choir. It, it's basically your basic memory puzzle. And no, I didn't forget. I wanted that empty honeycomb piece up there. Jeez. You'd think I have the attention spam in a five-year-old. Which is totally untrue. It's, it's a ten-year-old's attention span. But we can't get it right now, so let's just go ahead and try and do this little major puzzle. Which is not really a puzzle, it's more as it Simon says. But there are three lessons, as Tip Top said, the second one. And, uh, I forgot to mention something about these lessons. If you screw up, like I'm about to do here, you lose a unit of health. Do that enough and you're going to die. And... Okay, good. <laughs> I thought that was the wrong one first. I was like... Uh, I, I completely forgot. Oh, the... <laughs> I for completely forgot. I don't even know what I was doing. I, I hope you were paying attention. Because I certainly didn't write this down. I, and I was more focused on commentating. But, uh, hopefully we won't die. I've never really died of this minigame before, so it'd be quite humiliating if I did. I don't even know how, you know, like, couldn't we just touch them? Do we have to really stomp on them? This is kind of child abuse. Much less a violation of child labor laws. I mean, if they're really laboring. I mean, I would want to get paid if I got some beak shoved into my skull have to deal with bears standing on me. I mean, they've been roaming around the swamp. They probably smell really bad. I mean, I'm not one to question video game logic most of the time, but... Sheesh. Rank as fuck. And no, I don't want to learn anything more from you, Mr. Lives in a turtle shell with entrails on the ceiling. And why is that jump so fucking hard to make? 
It's so easy to miss, and but at the same time obvious, and yeah, we're not gonna get the other honeycomb piece in the level for a while. But uh, be right back, backtracking. And we're back! That wasn't so hard. I mean, for me, it was about a minute's worth of backtracking, but for you, what's but a millisecond? At least I didn't do something like a teleport or something like that. That would be lame. And I can't, apparently, hit those things. Anyway, now that there's not really much going on, we're just kind of housekeeping at this point. Unlocking next levels, because... Mr. Vile the Croc, his minigame is such a pain in the butt without a certain item. It's in a later level that I'm going to actually skip around levels. Not finish Bubble Gloop Swamp until later. Which also means the achievement thing in Bubble Gloop Swamp won't be messed with until later. But yeah, I'm gonna cruise through these other couple levels. I'm not sure what order I'm gonna do them in yet, but the gist of it is I'm hopping around like schizophrenic. That hasn't taken his medication. Starts talking crazy voices. And speaking of crazy things, we are about to unlock the next level, but the first have to open up that pathway. That will be very useful later. Now the funny thing is that what I'm doing right now couldn't be done in the original N64 version. So of course your mileage may vary. If you want to if you're trying to do the same thing I'm doing on your N64 version, I would suggest collecting all the notes, even if you don't get all the things in one go, because you can't do that otherwise, because the N64 doesn't let you do that. You know, it only takes your highest note score, basically. So yeah, we just opened Freeze Easy Peak, which we're not going to in this video. But I like to call it Fresno Peak because it reminds me of Freezing Inferno. And... Dear God, why would you share that with me? I, I, I'm sorry, I, I know I had a thought there, but... I... I blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I just... Why would you advertise that? I mean, I'm pretty fine. I can still see my feet. Like, Jesus. Fucking hell. Why would you offer that information? Ugh. Sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll get over it. Uh, well, usually I wouldn't show this kind of backtracking, but since it, we're moving on to a new area, it's kind of important. And... Oh, hey, there's Brentilda. Oh, how I missed you. Let's have some more trivia. They, she missed a bump pun. She could have said dirty hog. But yeah, uh, what? Uh, uh? Uh huh? Uh, so, let me get this straight. She sleeps in a pigsty like a hog. She won a dirtiest undies competition and. She's shown polishing her balls? Is that it? God! This is awful! Oh, there, there's so many things about this woman I did not want to know. I kind of wish I didn't have to, but you kind of have to learn all these randomly generated secrets. Get through the next... Well, not next. It, it's something at the end of the game. You, you'll understand why. But until then, sorry, I just had to swallow, swallow the bile that was steeping at the back of my throat. For now, we are going to go ahead and get the jiggy that we can't, we couldn't get to before we open this launch pad. Because now we're a floor up, and this floor is coincidentally directly above the witch's head, which coincidentally has a hole in it, and coincidentally has a jiggy at the bottom. Which we didn't suddenly get God blah 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 see you later.